Uh, this is actually a question from uh, Ben, uh, who's an alumni of the Speed Therapy Academy. And this is a question he actually had for the Academy. I thought it would be good to kind of transfer over uh, for this morning. And uh, uh, Ben was doing a lot of autocross, and he's switching over to uh, some, some track days. And he's taking a, a, a 95 Mustang from an uh, live axle to an IRS, which is going to be a really cool car. And he's got a monster motor in it. Anyway, here's his question. Let's see. For my Mustang, I don't want to mess with swapping gears between tracks, uh, track to street, street to track, uh, street to autocross, et cetera. The car is 95 with the KV IRS, a 428 Windsor, Tremec, a TKO 600, 400 horsepower, 500 pounds of torque. What's the best gear of choice? I've been running a 410 for 13 plus years and, and uh, running this car and it's fantastic on the street and autocross, but never had it on open track. And that is the plan for next year. Uh, so should I stay with a 410 or run the 355 uh, that came with the IRS center section or go in the middle of 373? Well, here's, here, here's the thing. My recommendation is before you overthink this, you have to drive it on track with a 410 and see how it works. Now, I can tell you that when we do gearing for uh, race cars, uh, you know, with them, we've, we've got like, like for David's car out west, it's got a nut four nine inch in it, and it's really easy to change gears. I mean, you just pull the axles out, take all the bolts off, pull the entire uh, assembly out, drop a new one in, and it takes about you know, half hour, 45 minutes to do a gear change. Uh, but what we're always looking for in, in, in racing is in fourth gear, which is the one to one ratio. In fourth gear, are always looking for it to be just a tickle under the red line on the longest straightaway. Okay, we'll gear do the the rear end ratio so it's at the just tickling the red line in fourth gear on the longest straightaway. Uh, and that way, if, if somebody gets a really good run off of you know the previous corner and they get to red line, they still have a ways to go. You know, fifth gear is like 0.8, so it's not that much of a a, a drop. So you maintain momentum. So that's, that's kind of how we gear it. I did. Uh, I need to pull up something here. We did. I did a, a chart for David's uh, AIX car. You can actually go online and find these formulas. But this this is for uh, what I'm looking at is the top speed in fourth gear on a Windsor motor, the 6900 RPM. Uh, the uh, now these are little, this is a 490, so the number is a little bit different than 8.8. .8. So fourth gear uh, with the uh, 389 is 139, 4, 411 is 132, uh, 429 is 127, and in fifth gear you can see you got a, a, a pretty big jump in in uh, speed, but you also lose a little just to lose a little bit of mechanical advantage when you go to the 8.8. .8. Now, the Windsor with a 6,500 RPM, uh, it's kind of just, everything just drops down a little bit. So for the 389, it's 132 in fourth gear. Uh, 411 is 125. And then if we're looking at a Coyote, uh, a, a Coyote in fourth gear, because, you know, our track ones, we can rev to 7,900, is like 160 in fourth gear with the 389, 152 with the 410. Uh, 145 with the uh, 429. So this this is kind of how we figured it, and we 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 picked. I can't remember which one we picked, but he was estimating what his top speed would be in the tracks he runs in fourth gear, and we picked the 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 uh, rear end ratio based off of that. Now, I mean, it's pretty simple. You go online, and there's formulas. You just plug in you know, the RPM, the tire diameter, uh, gear ratios, and it, it'll it'll just spit out some numbers. So that's how we kind of do it with uh, with race cars. Now, as as far as, as getting back to Ben's, I think you need to start with the 410 and see where you are. If you're on long straightaways, because the uh, Windsor's going to not have as, as much of a rev limit. I had no idea what the rev limit is. I'm going to say 6,500. Uh, if you're you have to shift from fourth to fifth. He's got a TKO, so hopefully he's got a 0 0.8 fifth gear. So you have to shift from if the long straightaway, you have to shift from fourth to fifth. 
then you want, might want to drop down to 373 and or if you just kind of do some calculations and see okay i need to be that this much more speed at the at the end of the straightaway and then you can just figure out what kind of gear ratio to run but the very first thing is just try it i know like on our uh, our uh, cobra race cars uh with the tremec tk and not tko with the Tremec uh, Magnum XL, we'll run uh, four tens with the Cobras, and that seems to work out really, really well. Now with the uh, the 90, 11 to 14 Cobras, uh, we run the the uh, 373s, and that works out really well. So it just kind of depends on the tracks that you run on. What are you looking? You want to get your top speed in fourth gear to kind of sync uh, with the with the track. 